Hello, my friends. This is what we're going to be doing today. It could be an extinct volcano or a dormant volcano. And I'm going to show you how you can put it together and color it in this video. Ready? Let's go. This is the template you will use to create a dormant volcano. Okay, so so far I've used four different types of uh, green, different shades. The darker one for the tree, then another one, a light one for the grass all around it. These are supposed to be like mountains around the uh, volcano. And the bushes, lighter. And now I'm doing more bushes and trees around the area where the volcano is going to go, okay? So the more green you have, different shades you have will be the better. It will give it a different dimension. Okay, I'm done coloring all around with this color. You can leave it like that with just one shade or you can add, I'm going to take the same green that I use for the trees and I'm going to color a little bit around all these trees and bushes over here. Just a little bit, just creating some, some little details on that green. So I'm adding the dark green on top of this pale green. Okay, you can do that or you can just leave it the way you had it, okay? See the difference? Okay, now let's switch over and with the same green that I use around the trees around the volcano, I'm going to color around the edge of the volcano because there's more green there. That way when we add the volcano to the sheet, to the base, it will match with the same green, okay? All the way around. I'm going to color all this in the edge. Actually, not here. This section right here where the glue is, we don't color there. That's where the glue is going to go. So we're just from here around and we stop here. Okay, I'm done coloring all around. And as you notice, I did not color this section right here where the glue is. We never color where the glue is going to be, this one and this one, because the uh, wax from the crayon won't allow the glue to stick the right way. Sometimes it just comes right out. So don't ever color where the glue is, okay? Now you can do the same thing. You can add some of that dark green, just a little. Not, not much, just a little so it can give it some detail to mix greens. Now we're going to color the top of the volcano. Same green that we use over here for around the volcano. We can use the same green or we can use another lighter green. Mm, let's see this one. Yeah, I think that will work. Okay, I'm done doing that. Let's switch. And this color the house. And there's a little lake in the back of the house and a little like a pond in the back and in the front, so that will be blue. Okay, we're ready to cut. I'm done coloring. There is the, um, the little pond, some trees. This is where we're going to put the volcano, so let's start cutting. Remember, we only cut on the dotted lines. Okay, all the way around. Around. Go this way. Then you go in on the dotted line. Inside the circle on the dotted line. This solid line right here is not going to be cut. Don't cut on the solid line, okay? Only where the dots are. Ready? Okay. 
and there it is this is how it should look two tabs and it's open in the middle like this okay okay now we're ready to put it together and we're gonna put some glue right here where, where the glue picture is and we're gonna overlap it the green part is gonna go on the white right where the black solid line is put it right there okay. cover the black line there you go if it sticks out a little bit like that you can cut that that part out or you can just move it up I'm gonna, it already dried so I'm going to cut it cut the extra And these tabs is what's going to hold the volcano on the paper. So we fold them in like this. Oops. Fold them in like this. Put some glue here on the tabs. Both tabs. And you can put glue where the glue is on the paper. There's a glue here and glue here. That's where the tabs are going to go. Fold them again and place the volcano. And because we use the same color in the bottom and the same color in the volcano, it blends in. You can push it down with your fingers. It's okay if it flattens a little because it pops right out. And there it is. See? Here's your volcano. Good job. Now, if you want the inside of your volcano to look dark as if there was dirt in there because it's a mountain, um, you need to color the inside, the circle, like this, brown. And it will look dark when once you put the volcano in the center. So it's optional, you can color the inside brown and then paste the volcano. Now this is the active volcano. My sister Melissa helped me color this one. If you wanna make an active volcano, you're gonna need different colors. This is the template you will use to create the active volcano. The colors will be red, brown, and gray. The red will be for the lava. The brown and gray and black can be used for the mountain and the bottom of the volcano. You will also use red on the base of the volcano. There's lava flowing through the bottom of the volcano in this one. And also don't forget to color the center of that circle because when you look in through the volcano, you're gonna see red. Now we cut it on the dotted lines and we paste it together. Overlap the two pieces together, fold the tabs, add glue to the tabs, add glue to the base where the glue bottles are, and add the volcano. And there you have it, bow volcano. There's an active volcano with the lava or an extinct or dormant volcano. To purchase and download the templates for this project, just click on the link below and you'll be able to obtain them. Thank you for watching.